It's going. We're live. You're, you're live. We're live. Happy Monday, everyone. Happy, happy Monday. Have a fun project for you in store. In store for you. All right. So, have a couple of announcements, and we will go over announcements a little later on. Um, we have a lot of people who are waiting on Ultrasoft. So I wanted to give a brief update on that. Um, we are hoping that it should be at our locations by the end of today. Fingers crossed. I hope everyone out there who's waiting on Baby Lock Ultra Soft is crossing their fingers. So um, you will hopefully be getting a call from um, one of the stores, all of the stores, whoever you are. Hopefully we'll be getting you a phone call today or tomorrow. Um, so we have the red, white, and bloom class um, embroidery part two on Wednesday. On Thursday, we have creative solutions um, with crafty people. And then on the 16th, we have the so steady um, class. And if you go onto our website for that one and go onto the events calendar, and go to that date, there will be a little link that you can click on that will take you to register for that event. Um, and then we wanted to let you guys know of some fun and exciting things that we have for the future. Um, we have a new class that we're going to be teaching. Um, this is a Smith Street design. It is Let's Home Sweet way. Home. What? Turn this way a little bit. The lighting's okay. <laughs> that lighting's better. A lot better? Yeah. Um, so this is a class that um, Cindy is going to be teaching. Um, so on this particular design, they give you the option to make a uh, wall hanging or a table runner. And I personally think that this is too cute to have on a table and to get the fabrics messy by chance, you know, but I also have little fingers at home. Um, but I definitely think that it would be a great addition for some decoration in um, everyone's home. So this is going to be taking place May 5th and 19th. And again, Cindy will be teaching this class. Um, right now, what we have for you is the design, which is embroidery and the fabric kit and the cost of the class, all of it is going to cost you $60. So with $60, you'll sign up for the class, you'll get the design and the fabric kit. Woohoo, good deal. Very good deal. So, um, and I love the colors. I think Cindy did a beautiful job of picking out her colors. Show that one more time. Um, so then the other thing that I wanted to show you, speaking of red, white, and bloom, um, is this adorable little tote bag. With so the cute. lights. With the lights on there. Beautiful. I think some of my lights have come through back, back through the holes though. <laughs> That's okay, but it's super cute using the, um, you gotta show denim, the inside. Denim totes. And here's the inside. And then here is the lining. Cute lining. Um, very, very easy, very fun. So this project actually calls for you to use um, white leather, red leather, and navy leather. And I kind of switched it up just a little bit by using white glitter instead. Give it a little bit more of a shine. Sparkle. Yep. Um, and even if the lights are not your thing, and I, I do see a lot of our customers who post on Facebook um, that they're not too crazy about the lights. And I think that if you just bypass the eyelets um, just by itself, just the flag with the beautiful on there is it's very um, pretty. a really cute design, perfect for summer. So I just wanted to show that to you. Um, I want to go ahead and talk a little bit about that though because this isn't a separate design this isn't a new design or a new disc it is within the quilt book of the red white and bloom so when you get your quilt book you go to the back of your book there are additional projects so there is the 
Posies and Pinwheels Table Topper. There is the Something Sweet Tea Towel, and it says, When Life Gives You Lemons, Make Something Sweet. And then you have the tote, and the tote gives you an option to make it in a 5x7 or an 8x12. I definitely think the bigger one is go big or go home, right? Yep. So this is all within the book, and we do have um, all of the stuff that we're talking about today listed on our website. Um, Matt, how is the website right now? Okay. So right now Matt is working on getting um, some things fixed online. Um, a lot of you do a lot of online orders and I do want to apologize and let you guys know that we are working on it right now. The PayPal is not working, um, but we are working on it so that you guys can place the online orders. If you don't want to wait to place an order online, then you can go ahead and comment um, and let us know that you're a normal online customer and you'd like to order um, this way for today. Hopefully we can get that fixed before tomorrow. Um, and then Cheryl is going to be working on a table runner. So this is a free um, pattern. On Baby Lock. On Baby Lock. On our website, um, you can go on and it will have the picture of um, the kit. And then there's going to be a brief description and then there's going to be different links that you can click on. One of which is the original so that if you want, then you can make this on there. It's with that. long. It is really long. So with that being said, I did put a little note next to that option that this is not the option of which the kits are cut to. We have kits available for today. This color scheme, we stuck with the purples, but this one is just one that Cheryl had. Um, so we don't have these fabrics per se, but we have a different fabric bundle for you. And let me grab that. So we have a, it's called the Spring Surged Table Runner Kit. It is $14.99 and it will give you everything that you need except for batting, um, to make a table runner and, right. and what Cheryl's done is to make it so it's not so large she's kind of cut that down so on our website as well there will be a separate link that Cheryl has created for instructions for a smaller size so it's not quite as long so again the kits for today's project are $14.99 and we also have from that line of fabric that we're using today we have a fabric bundle it's called the Midnight Hydrine Hygiene Tria. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. Um, fabric bundle. So this is a three yard bundle. It's $29.99 and it has some really pretty fabrics in there. Um, I will say that uh, we are trying to figure out right now if we're able to order more of this fabric. Um, we do only have 15 bundles made that we can distribute. So based off of um, the requests, we may need to do a lottery system with this just to forewarn you ladies. Um, I've been on the phone several times this morning trying to figure out if we can um, get more of this ordered. So with that being said, we will turn it Switch over to Cheryl. Real. Okay. Matt, can you bring me my computer? Pretty please. Okay, so Amanda showed you this one. This one um, <laughs> is a giant. It's even taller than me. Um, this is 18 by 18 squares. So when I went to do the one for today for the kit, we're going to do these colors. And they are um, basically 12 by 12. Okay? So, the first thing when you, we're going to do this, and it's going to do the wave stitch. Oh, too fast. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, ladies. All right. Okay. Uh, it's super, super easy. The hardest part is, I guess, threading the machine. Um, but I made a boo-boo. So, this is what you don't do. I always show the don't do's. 
Okay. We so, love the don't do's because that's sharing this valuable information. broke right in the middle of my long side seam. Um, the reason it broke, my machine was dirty. So start out with a clean, clean serger before you get started. Get started. So that's kind of what we're going to do right quick. And then to show you how to thread the wave stitch. So I'm going to cut my threads. And to answer your question, Catherine, we do not have kits for the um, tote bag. But the items that are used for the tote bag are on our website, and we are going to honor a 20% discount on those items. Um, they are going to be the Kimberbell Fairy Lights, um, a tube of red, white, and um, navy leather. If you would rather use glitter, then you could use the white glitter instead, or the red glitter, who knows? Um, and then for the lining, you need a um half yard of fabric okay so as you can tell here my lower looper um this was on my the first one my lower looper uses a whole lot more thread than your upper looper does marie can you mention what serger you need a thread catcher for So what I'm going to do here is grab my blow off. I'm going to blow it away. And open up your serger however it opens up on the different brands. And whoops. <laughs> um, um, Dan, to answer your question, yes, the Acclaim does make a um, wave stitch. The Home Sweet Home class is going to be on May 5th and 19th from 10 to 2. We'll start at 9.30, let people get logged on. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we have one needle in, the right needle. We are going to double check and set up our serger. So we have our right needle in in the O2. Stitch length is going to be between the one and two. I have it just at the bottom of the two on there. The stitch width at five. The little knob, big knob, L for length, long. Um, stitch width regulator is going to be on B. The wave is going to be, knob is going to be turned up to the wave. Um, Everything else is pretty much standard. You don't have to mess with any of that. So what I am going to do, and I'm going to create a thread loop for my heavy threads. It's gonna be a long one. So I'm going to thread my upper looper. And May this is Lammer. Madeira Glamour. Mm-hmm. Nice, pretty purple. Purple. Very pretty. Uh, made the Home Sweet Home class is embroidery. Okay, now you're going to follow the overlock three thread wave stitch. And if you look at the threading, it's pretty tricky. Your needle thread is actually going to be your right needle, but it's going to throw thread in the left needle position your upper looper is going to go through your right needle position instead of the upper looper and that gives you the different tensions and then your um, lower looper is just your plain old lower looper okay so I'm going to do this right quick and so this is going to go in your upper looper thread but this is really the upper looper and press your foot up bring it down to your knee I'm going to make a cradle for my thread or you can use your um, 
oops your little threader for the from the machine that I lost <laughs> So we're having a lot of questions on if this project can be done on the sewing machine rather than a serger. And the answer to that is absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's just going to not have that much of a decorative yeah, stitch. Right. It's just going to be put together by a quarter of an inch seam. Um, it would be a very easy and simple table runner. The yes. big special thing about this one is, is the wave stitch. And Cheryl's awesome yeah. selection in fabrics. Okay, I put the thread through, but I didn't put the... <laughs> it's Monday, ladies and gents. gents. Have both tails the same length. Stick them in the upper looper. Jessica, we'll look into that for, uh, uh, for everyone. See it there? and make sure it's long enough and just start pulling and out it comes so if you have the wire same same principle do you have to use the heavier thread to get the wave look no but for but for it to show off on the fabric you want the heavier thread um if you use the lighter thread it just it just doesn't have the pizzazz. Why is she using the extra thread to thread it? Because um, this thread does not like to go through. It's so heavy that the air won't blow it through. Yeah. So it has to be it's helped. It's very thick. It needs a little bit of assistance going through the loopers. And the same thing if you did... Um, wooly nylon you would use the same thing you would use a uh, the wire okay this one's really long so i'm just going to cut it off and you can save these to couch over if you want get a bag of all your fun heavy threads and couch over them patty hunter are you talking about this project It's an eight weight thread. So put it through the loop, have it a little bit long, put your tails through the lower looper because this is the lower looper thread now, and press the hair. Make sure it doesn't catch on anything. There it comes, pull it through. Quick way to thread. Patty, the stores have some um, sewing thread um, bundles. Um, I can't guarantee what all the stores have, um, but we could possibly have them. Okay, so I'm just gonna double check. So the upper looper thread is threaded through the right needle hole and then down through the lower looper, I mean the upper looper threading. The lower looper thread threads normally as a lower looper thread up through the right hand side through the lower looper and shoot it on through. So now we're ready to do the needle thread. So the needle thread is sitting on O2, but it's coming over and threading as the left needle instead of the right needle. Up and over, down through that thread guide, back down behind that thread guide. You can lower the presser foot. Um, make sure that if you want the air to blow through the uh, Overlock. Surging overlocking section, it needs to be on overlock. Bring that down, hold your thread close. The big fingers are in the way, huh? And it's threaded. There we have it. Okay, 
I always, always, always do a quick little sample so that I don't have to rip out my seams. And so when we go to start this, um, we are going to do wrong sides together, okay? So I have my wrong sides together of my scrap fabric and we don't need this anymore. So we'll hide it under the nifty tray there. Make sure if you can't get your door shut, it's because you have not switched the lever to lever surging. To surging. Okay, I'm going to line up my fabric and so on something like this, and guess what ladies, it's working. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, don't sew super fast. Number one, it messes up your threads to get tangled up and you just get a much even, much more even stitch Yeah. Um, when you do it slowly. But there it is. That's what we want. Very pretty. Okay, so now we're ready to go to the real project. So I did start one seam um, together. So you have four squares, two prints, and two solids. You will want to put your wrong sides together. And you probably, there's kind of a one way to these. So, um, you want the patterns going down. So, lay the edges together. And I'm always going to trim off a smidgen. Lay the edges together and I'm laying the fabric right along this little lip on the serger here. And needle up. Okay. And I'm going to put the fabric right up to the blade. I always hold on to the tail of the of the threads. Just it kind of just helps pull everything in. And this kind of just helps me Get it, Get it started. Yep. So there we go, ladies. So we're going to do this seam. And again, these are uh, cut out. Uh, I think your finished square will probably be about 12 by 12. Maybe a little bit wider. Not more than 13. But I'm not going super fast. If you do start going too fast, you can slow this guy down. Okay. And yes, there's a cutter there on the side. So I have two of them together. And the other two together. Now what I want to do is make sure that my stems are going the same direction, which they are. It be <laughs> right. Or half the table will be standing on their heads. <laughs> okay. Threading can be intimidating sometimes, but I think that's one practice. of the very first Just things practice. with um, working at the store is noticing how easily you can thread the baby locks, and especially with the sergers. Just take some practice if I if you ever have me as a teacher in a surgery class when you're learning to sew speeding I tickets I walk around I give you speeding <laughs> tickets yes I do do that the kids camp kids know that <laughs> I um, like to cut threads so that you have to start from scratch so if you're saying you're having problems and, oh, I'll just tie on or something, the old old fashioned way we used to do, no, I'll cut your threads. <laughs> make, you, make you thread from scratch. Give you some tough love education. <laughs> you know, if you go home and thread your machine 10 times, sew off a, a 
you know, a sample to make sure that your threads are all in the tensions correctly. You won't forget how to thread your machine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a frog in my throat. The, um, okay. So I'm going to go over to the ironing board. Make sure the stems are still the right way. Yep. Okay. I'm going to go <laughs> over to the ironing board right quick. And we're going to press. While she does that, I'm going to go over the announcements again. Um, we have... Let me try and do this one-handed, ladies. All right. So this is going to be a new class that Cindy is going to be teaching. This is going to be on May 5th and 19th, and it is going to be from 10 to 2, and it is a Smith Street design called Home Sweet Home, and in the design, they give you an option to do it as a table runner or a wall hanging. The class is going to be based off of the wall hanging. And it is going to be a two-part class. As I've said, it's going to be May 5th and 19th. So we'll have the first day be the embroidery day. And then the second day will be like the construction to put everything together. Um, in order to get the design and the fabric kit and sign up for the class, the cost is going to total $60. Um, Cindy, how much is just the design? I'm sorry? Do you know, remember how much just the design is? 24 um, so yes, I saw a question earlier and the design is, um, $24. Um, so if that, um, with that $60 purchase, you'll be getting the design with the disc in there on the, um, and then in the same packaging we have put in the fabric kit. Okay, so now I have all this um, pressed, and I went ahead and sprayed the backing, um, the fabric, with KK2000, and then laid down your batting, so to save a little bit of time. So what I'm going to show you now is we're going to spray this, the top, and then lay it on here. So I'm going to go over to the cutting table and use my KK2000. We're coming with you. You're following me? We're following you. I have followers! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> and I'm leaving my tails on here for right now so that when we go across it just helps I use it for control. Okay, so we're gonna start this. This is nice and ironed with an iron. Okay, here's a KK. And you start at one end. And make sure you might wanna have a window open. Or a gas mask. No. Which way did you press? I pressed so the... You pressed it open? Yep. Well, to one side. I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> Rose says, yes. Yes, you do. You have followers. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So it's going to be a little bit bigger. And I'm going to come up there. Maybe and yes, it flip it. Yep. Sorry. It's okay. Rebecca, the class is going to be from 10 to 2. Uh, yes. So I'm laying it down. And I'm going to lay it in the middle just a little bit so I can... The backing's a little bit wider on this particular one and let's see I pressed it so that the wave goes to the dark 
so pretty. And then you just gotta double check on the back side that you have fabric back there. And just, and you can pick it up and reposition it if you need to. Okay, so that's nice and smooth. So I'm gonna kind of roll that up and it's a little bit longer. And I'm going to spray this. I love this stuff because, get all the other stuff out of here, the papers, um, it's fast, or I think so. Rebecca, what do you mean, do you have everything for the class? The Home Sweet Home, it has um, the $60, gets you signed up for the class, gets you the design CD and instructions, and the fabric kit. Okay. We have a supply list, thread colors, everything that you need to know about the project already listed on the dates for May 5th and 19th, 19th, 14th. 19th. It's one of my best friend's birthdays. Okay, and I'm just checking to make sure that um, I got it on the edge. On the edge there. And these again are like pointed towards the solid colors so it shows off the thread a little bit more. Okay. One, two, three, four. We got our four squares stitched <laughs> together. Perfect. The stems are going the right way. They are. Can't tell I'm worried about that, can you? <laughs> You're good. You're in the clear. Okay. And a lot shorter. We'll put the we'll shorter. put them next to each other when we're done because it's a dramatic difference. Just a couple inches per square. Okay. So I'm going to start, it tells you, so these are the original instructions, minus that, and so that came from the Baby Lock website, and this is the modified The modified, so both of those are available on our website under today's date. So if you want to make the longer one, maybe for a picnic table, um, then that's on there for you. But we're using the smaller one um, so that you can use it on like an everyday table rather than a picnic table. Yes. Um, to answer your question, Martha, the home sweet home wall hanging, the finished size is 21 by 30. And yes, Rebecca, everything that you would need is in the fabric kit, except for batting. And it, has, it has backing and binding. And then the thread list is available online so that all of you guys can um, check your stock at home. So I'm going to hold on to the tail when I, when I start. And then you just go. And I am cutting off just a little bit just in case you um, don't have everything exactly lined up. And all you do is just let the machine do the work. All you have to do is just guide it along. And I have a tendency to sew fast on the serger, not the sewing machines, but on the serger, so I do have the speed control turned down. And I don't want to sew through all of that, so I am going to cut this off right here, because we're going to need it there anyway. And you're going to sew all the way off the edge of the fabric. But I'm running the edge of my foot against the raw edge of the fabric. So one edge down. 
And I'd use the cutter, the thread cutter, but it leaves too long of a tail. And sometimes on the longer one like that one, you want to um, conserve your threads. Yeah. Okay. On this one. So I'm going to be cutting along here. My, I can just butt it up right there. Or I can take and cut this in with the scissors just a smidgen. Got to get Dawn to sharpen those again. Friendly reminder, we sharpen scissors. I was going to say threads, but that wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> we need sharp threads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never know. Okay. Julie, you'll have to have your granddaughter watch while you take the Home Sweet Home class so that we can sing Happy Brittle Daedle to her. Make it special for her sweet 16. I know. Debbie, are you watching? Miss Debbie Pocorn. And I'm just pushing it up against the... <laughs> Rose says that she wants you to teach the snowman chenille class already. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get some panels. We do. We've some... been looking. We have been looking. That's such a fun class. It's so addicting. My husband even likes it. <laughs> we just took down the... Um, Christmas chenille one the other day. It's like we can't leave that up all year. <laughs> okay, so I'm just cutting along the edge. And you just do this around all four sides. And sometimes if your fabric starts to pucker up a little bit, I leave the needle down so you're going to have to hand turn it. Raise your presser foot and just push the fabric a little bit to the back, just like you do at the sew machine. And on this one, I did change the um, pressure a little down a couple notches just to have a little bit less pressure on your presser foot. Some of, some of the sergers do it with a a knob, and some do it with a screwdriver. The Solaris does it. I mean, Triumph. <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl, are you doing embroidery or are you surging? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, you still have your Christmas tree up? I have heard that it is a new trend to leave your Christmas tree up all year long and decorate it for the different holidays because I had a friend that I actually went to elementary school with and just have kept in touch with. She <laughs> is one of those people and she decorated her tree for Easter and for Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day. And now she's working on getting stuff gathered together for Mother's Day slash Memorial Day. She's going to do half and half. <laughs> it has to be an artificial tree then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> question and Dilbeck wants to know can this stitch be made using any serger no no no, no. no. Uh, the triumph the... <coughs> excuse me <laughs> <laughs> the um, you can do it on the triumph the accolade and the acclaim 
<coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. The wave stitch is special to Baby Lock. It's fairly new. <laughs> Julie says, oh my god, you girls have me laughing so hard. <laughs> We'll have to see how straight I am sewing in, right? <laughs> and yes, um, Pat, um, the evolution, which would be the accolade equivalent. The accolade took over for the evolution. Yep, and the ovation was replaced by the triumph. So yes, the previous models would um, be able to do that. The Imagine, Evolution, and Ovation. So, if you have a serger and you're not sure if it will do the wave stitch, if you look at the top right-hand corner of your serger and it has this lever here, then you know that you're able to accomplish that stitch. Rose says, hey, I once had a real tree that I left up till February. <laughs> it was it flocked was and was dry. not even crispy by the end. Lucky. Lucky. <laughs> you gave it some TLC then, Rose. You were good to that tree. Is Debbie popcorn watching? Debbie, are you there? If you are, happy birdle daddle toodle you doodle. 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 We love you. You're great. Happy birthday. I met one of your neighbors the other day. If you're watching. <laughs> Usually by then it's a fire hazard. Patty Hunter says. <laughs> I've n I don't think I've ever had a real Christmas tree. This doesn't want to start. There it goes. Had to help it along a little bit more than usual. Okay, this is the third side. Had to count. I'm going to cut this along here so I don't waste thread. And sew off the edge. Lorraine says that her son's Christmas tree started growing. Did she plant it outside? Lorraine, started. did they did they put the tree back outside after it was done? Serving its Christmas purpose? I mean, I'm I'm definitely not a green-thumbed person, but wouldn't it need soil to continue growing? Help me out, guys. It's a serious question. <laughs> Yeah. One year we had a real tree and by Christmas morning every needle had fallen off the tree and piles of needles were all on the gifts. And the ornaments too. The first year we moved up the mountain the kids were like second and fourth graders. We went out and cut down a tree. We drove for 10, 15, 20 miles. The snow was like, not that deep, but maybe that deep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Super deep. Instead of just going close to the road, Ron kept saying, gotta go further back in, gotta go further back in. We probably walked for an hour, hour and a half back in 
to get the Christmas tree. We cut it down, cut it, cut it, hauled it back to the truck. It wouldn't fit in the truck, so we had to cut it shorter. We get it home, <laughs> and we have tall, tall ceilings. It wouldn't fit in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so we really had to chop it off to get it to fit in the house. And it dried up within a couple weeks. Patty Hunter said it could have been in a plant holder, which I wouldn't have thought of that. Yeah. I When yeah. I say I don't have a green thumb, Matt refuses to buy me flowers anymore because he says all I do is kill them. Aww. It's true, though. I will say when we first moved into the house, he got me flowers and those flowers stayed alive for three weeks. Awesome. That's like That's... a huge record. Where he says, no, the branches grew indoors with decorations on it. Just the water did it. Not sure, but they may have put water f fresh. Sugar water? Water fresh in the water. Like the powder that you get with the bouquet flowers. It was the funniest thing. That's crazy. Debbie Pokorn is watching now. Hi, Debbie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birdle doodle toodle doodle doodle. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Yeah. Cindy, you've got to come over with your drums. <laughs> I'm getting there, ladies. Bev says, Matt just didn't want to tell you that they were fake flowers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that could very well be. Okay, when I come up to this thread here, I'm just going to hold it out. So it gets chopped off? So it gets chopped off and it lays nice and flat, the seam does. That way the it curves the way it's supposed to curve with a little help. And you've noticed every now and then it, it's getting a little poofy. Needle down, raise your presser foot, and just kind of give it a smoothing back. We're almost there, ladies. How are we doing on time? We're okay. It probably takes more time to finish the thread ends than sewing the whole thing out, which I'll show you how to do. So there's that tail again. All right, so as she's continuing to do the stitching, I'll show you guys. So again, we have the home sweet home wall hanging. That's a class that's going to be May 5th and 19th. For $60, you get the design, the fabric kit, and signed up for the class. If you would like, you can purchase the design by itself for $24. Um, we have kits for today. This is the Spring Surged Table Runner Kit. It is $14.99. And it has everything you need to make today's project. Except for the um, batting. We also have the Midnight Hydrangea. 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 Three Yard Bundle fabrics in here are so pretty. Want to remind everyone that we were only able to cut 15 bundles. So if we get a lot of requests on this particular bundle, we will have to um, distribute based off of a um, lottery system. Um, 
Again, this bundle is $29.99. And with that being said, I um, have reached out um, in order to find out if we can get more of this fabric. Because I don't know the answer to that right now, I am not putting this one online. Um, we may, if we find out that we're able to get more of the fabric in. The other thing that I wanted to show you was the denim tote with the beautiful um, design from the red white and bloom book so i want to make sure that everyone is understanding that this is not a um, individual design or a new kimberbell design this is something that you can find in your red white and bloom embroidery quilt book and if you go to the back section of your book you have a couple of different bonus designs. I'm trying to do it one-handed, ladies. Sorry. So there's the posies and pinwheels table topper. The something sweet tea towel. And then you have the denim tote bag. It has the 8x12 option, which is the one that we stitched out. And then a 5x7 option. And we do have the products that are needed to make this project on our website. Um, the denim tote and the, pa the pattern calls for you to use the navy Kimberbell embroidery leather, red leather, and white leather. I switched it up a little bit and used the white glitter instead. But all of those products are on our website um, at a discounted price honoring the 20% discount. For those of you who are watching that were not tuned in at the beginning of the video, we are working on our PayPal. We have had a lot of people calling today to let us know that the um, PayPal system is not allowing people to make purchases online. So we do appreciate your patience as we do figure out what's going on with that. Um, Matt is working diligently to get that... Um, solved so that you ladies can place an order online if there's anything that you're interested in you can go ahead and comment on here too um letting us know that you're interested in these items i will give you a warning this bag you might want to pre-wash it just maybe otherwise your hands turn blue i don't you can't see that but you're blue i'm blue you're blue <laughs> okay <laughs> Um, it's finished. <laughs> so, Frey Block. I like it much better than Frey Check because it's softer. This It's softer? It's softer when it goes on. Okay, so I put quite a bit on the tail of it and right on the edges of it, all four corners. Um, you can go ahead and let it dry and then just snip it off at, at the edge of the fabric. But it could have a tendency to still come apart. So I like, I went ahead and put the fray block on because what I did on this one, you will see this, how nice that corner is. Mm -hmm. I didn't trim it off. I took my double wide needle and I took my threads. And what you do is you pull both threads together, the last one, and it'll go back to right here. And then you take your double light needle and very carefully, I'm going to go ahead and stick this down here, but it's not going to unravel on me because I already have it fray blocked. So I'm <clears throat> running it on the back side of the fabric and I am going to, this got cut a little too short, it's unraveling. And put it through the eye of the double eyed needle and pull it on through. So there it's there. And you clip your thread. Clip. Clip. And you have a nice corner. Very nice. Um, but yeah, you have your really nice corners. So on this one here was where. My serger was dirty. I didn't clean it before I started. So what I did is I, again, I pulled the two threads 
like this and sometimes you will have to play with the needle thread just a little bit and then I'm ready to take these and bury them you can take them over to the back side and bury them in here very nice and, the, and then it you save your project you save your project okay this is big flower it had a lot of fertilizer <laughs> it had a lot of fertilizer <laughs> and this, is, this is the lower one but you can see just this one um, was 18 inch square this one's 12 or 13 inch square big difference big big difference so yes it is cotton fabrics jessica i will get that fixed so if you just give me maybe about 15 minutes and try again we can get that fixed for you um and sherry parks i believe when you mean blank you're meaning the denim tote if you could confirm that we would appreciate it um and do we have any questions before we sign off or do you have anything else cheryl nope it's just fast and easy and don't be afraid of it at all so much fun. A lot of fun. Steve says, nice, Cheryl. Thank you, Steve. All right. So, Sherry, yes, you want the denim tote. Okay, well, ladies, it has been lovely hanging out with you all. Um, we will see you back here next Monday for live. I'll see some of you on Wednesday for Red, White, and Bloom. Um, hope you guys get to enjoy your day. It is a little bit sunny here, but a little bit overcasted, too. I saw somebody ask what the weather's like here. It's supposed to snow tonight. Up, Up where you are, right? Oh, my, no, no. I want moisture, but I want sunshine. I want to drive with my windows down, the air blowing through my hair. You might have wet hair. Wet hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, okay. Well, we always have fun with you guys. Have a great rest of your day.